Hello friends. Joining me in the studio today is a close personal friend of mine. If you haven't met him, YouTube, meet Piopoli Mai. Piopoli Mai, YouTube. This is my Piopoli Mai and it is my favorite 3D printer. It is an amazing piece of 3D printing technology, but I've got a bit of an idea for improving it just a little bit. Keep watching. Before we get started, I probably need to explain how this machine works. Everything in life can be improved by the judicious application of lasers, and 3D printing technology is no exception. This machine prints by using a UV laser, located in the base here, to turn the liquid inside of this tray into a solid one line at a time. This is kind of like FDM printing, uh, in that it does it one line at a time, but in a reverse. It's actually upside down with liquid and with lasers. Every single layer is printed out with the laser, and then between each layer, this tray tilts down. And what that does is stop the print from sticking to the bottom of the tray. Over time, the layers build up one at a time. And after a few hours, you've got a print dangling from the very top of this machine. As I started making YouTube videos, I had a bit of a problem with my Moai. Not really a problem, but more of a frustration. Not with the Moai itself as well, but with taking videos of it. And that problem is it's very hard to take a decent video of them making a print. And there are a few reasons for this. The first is that it is slow. The process can take more than a day for a print with some of my prints taking up to 40 hours, making a video very, very difficult. You have to rely on a time-lapse. It's very low visibility. You can't see what's happening at the bottom of the tray. And given the black acrylic panels here, you can't see what's going on and getting light inside is actually pretty, dark, uh, pretty difficult. And it tilts every single layer of that little tray tilts. That's to help break the suction on each layer very gently, but it makes for a pretty ugly time lapse as that tray is flapping around like a demented flipper. So, how are we going to fix this? I've got a few ideas.
huh, that's weird. I made something, but I don't really have much to show for it. So what the heck did I actually do here? Well, that's pretty simple. I pulled apart my Moai and I used an old Z-stop switch that I had lying around from an old and busted 3D printer. And what I did was made a little switch that connects to an audio jack, which triggers the remote shutter on my camera. I hot glued that switch into my Moai and then just plugged it into the camera. Every time the platform tilts down, it closes the circuit, which triggers the camera's shutter and takes a photo. The rest of it was just making an adequate light source to go inside of the cabinet. Remember, I said there wasn't enough light to get into the cabinet. Thank you to the black acrylic. Putting a small LED panel inside of this enclosure does the trick. I actually tried to use a pre-bought LED panel for this, but it didn't work. It generated way too much heat, which actually cured the resin inside the tray. And I ended up with a giant congealed resin booger. You might notice how I built a panel and then sorted it in half. Well, that was because it generated more light than I actually needed, and I was somewhat concerned about the heat output of having two panels in there. I actually built a second panel as I was anticipating having a panel on both sides, but I never actually needed it. Oh well, something for a future project. If you have a Piopoli Moai and you want to make this set up yourself, you're going to need a few pieces. You're going to need a Z-stop switch. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter or whatever fits your particular camera stereo jack. You're going to need a spool of wire, a hot glue gun and a soldering iron. For the LED, uh, you'll need an LED strip from eBay, they're fairly cheap, a DC socket and a power supply. You might be able to find a simple LED panel online that fits your needs, but honestly, you can build one of these for about $10 and in under an hour. I'll put links to everything you need down below in the description. Let me know what you think. Do you reckon this is a good idea? What do you think of the time lapses that come out of it? And if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.